access the effusion mailer. So I'm going to put a bit of local and setting. Yes. And we're now going to two outside um, suture and we're going to secure the, the chest drain. Throwing a piece of wood, the nail in a piece of wood has gone through. This patient uh, has a foreign body sensation in his left eye after working with some, a grinder about two days ago. He felt something go in his eye and it's been uncomfortable since then. And we have a small corneal foreign body which we're going to remove. We're going to start by applying some binoxinate. Okay, well you take that in your hand, maybe you know, stuff that runs around your, your face. That's to dealt with. And it's going to sting a bit, okay? So head back for us. I'm just going to drop a couple of drops in your eye. Okay, all right. Head back for me, that's correct. Okay. Okay, and just open and close a few times. That's great, and you can just dab that if you need to, but don't, don't soak it all up. No. That's great, and we're just going to let that uh, work for a second. Approach your, your eye with a little needle, and I'm going to touch your eye, and that will give you a chance. Before I do anything, I'm just going to touch it. So okay. give you a chance to know whether it's okay or not. Okay. I can always put some more drops in. Okay. And I'm going to rest my hand against your cheek, okay? Mm -hmm. So don't be okay. surprised to feel this here. Okay, I've touched your eye there. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, we're done. Okay, we're done. If you want to put the lights back up. This is the foreign body that we've just removed from the cornea, just adjacent to the point of the needle. It's probably no more than about a millimetre across. Okay, now we're going to pop your eye and yourself back in the cradle. Okay. Now what you get afterwards is this thing known as a rust ring. Because after removal, you get some, you can just fix your eyes to the distance.